This has to take the cake for one of the more unique things that I've ever been sent on this YouTube channel. Now, TT Artisan is better known for budget manual lenses. Some of them are very, very good. But this is not just simply a TT Artisan lens. In fact, it wasn't really sent to me for review. It was just sent to me for I don't know what reason. It's not even a lens that you can go out and buy today, at least not in this finish. So. Let's check it out. So this lens came in a black box. Inside there was another box and it looks like a larger version of something that you'd put an engagement ring into. On top it is labeled TT Artisan M35 f1.4 and 24K gold skin. Opening it up you get this excellent presentation with an instruction manual, a little card with some QR codes, a little gold flathead for focus adjustment and the lens itself. Now this lens is for like amount, but you can and use a little adapter to mount it to whatever camera you'd like. The lens caps are finished in gold as well. The rear cap is metal with a nice finish to it and the front lens cap is also some sort of lightweight aluminum finished in gold. The body of the lens is quite eye-catching, very nicely covered in that gold skin and it weighs a nice 396 grams which is adequate for the small size. It does feel quite premium and well finished. Now that's not to say there aren't some small little imperfections in the finish because there are, but who cares? It's a flashy gold coated lens that is unlike anything that I've ever seen before. Starting at the rear, there is a metal mount, no electronic connections, no weather sealing whatsoever. There is a 35 here engraved with red paint and a focal distance scale that is engraved as well. Next to it, a manual focus ring that doesn't have much of a throw. Rotation is about 45 degrees and it is smooth, but it's not the best manual focus ring I've tried. It's better than average, however. And as you rotate the focus, the front of the lens moves forward and the rear elements of the lens also move forward and back. It's interesting to watch. This focus ring does have a little finger grip which is nice because after a while you can focus with muscle memory. In front of that there is an aperture ring and interestingly two little tabs for two fingers to grip and rotate. So you won't be turning this aperture on accident. The ring itself is nice and clicky. I like it. It's well done. At the very end there is this lens hood that has a little cutout in one corner which I guess this entire lens is modeled after some expensive Leica and for artistic reasons maybe you'd want a little flare to come in through the corner. In any case, you can remove this lens hood by rotating it. It is also made out of metal and done very well. Around the front, there is a nice slightly concave front lens element with a bunch of writing all around it. TT Artisan 24K gold skin, 197 out of 200. So yes, there are only 200 of these in existence. This is a limited DJ optical release, which is very valuable. 35 millimeter f1.4 and a 49 millimeter filter thread. This is a full frame lens which is impressive because of the small size and as such here it is mounted on my a7c. Now the a7c in silver already has a bit of a retro look and adding this gold lens to it makes for an interesting combination. It probably would look a little better on an all black camera body but still not bad. Now using this lens out in public I have never received so many comments and compliments from random strangers in my life and I think that obviously has to do with the finish and the fact that this lens, because of the finish, appeals to an audience that goes beyond simply photographers, which is a cool thing. But it's sad that you can't just go out and buy one of these if you wanted to. Fortunately, you can go out and buy the brand new Liberty 4 NC from Soundcore. These are some awesome earbuds and Soundcore is sponsoring this portion of this video. They come in a newly designed case that flips up with a button. The buds themselves are very comfortable and offer 10 hours of playtime, but when you combine it with the charging capacity of the case, a total of 50 hours. The best part though is that a 10 minute charge gives you four hours of listening. The focus of these earbuds is the noise cancellation, which Soundcore calls adaptive ANC 2.0, which performs real time calculations that detect noises and create a curve that cancels out most noises. The result is that you can reduce noise by up to 98.5% and the audio quality is crisp with 11 millimeter high sensitivity drivers and wireless high res audio certification. And there are a bunch of other great features, six mics for great call quality, hearing protection, find my earbuds. I don't have time to give you guys all of it. So if you are looking for a great set of noise canceling 
and earbuds that come in a variety of colors, then look no further than these new Liberty 4NCs. They are also a fraction of the cost of the competition, so there's that. Special thank you goes out to Soundcore for being a continued sponsor of this channel. If you guys want more information or wanna buy these things, link will be down in the description. Now let's go back to this gold lens and more specifically, let's take a look at some performance. So these are all straight out of the camera done on my Sony a7C with no editing, no changing of colors, no filters, nothing. Again, straight out of the camera, ready, set, go. All right, so this is a lens with a bit of character, and I don't mean just in how it looks and how it renders images, it's quite unique as well. And it probably has to do something with this lens hood, which lets in some level of sunlight, I'm guessing, because the flare is definitely unique on this lens. I shot all of those samples that you just saw wide open, and this isn't where the lens is sharpest. It is significantly sharper at f2.8 and f4, but even so, at f1.4, there is enough sharpness to see your subject in the center of the frame. I would describe it as average wide open. The thing that I was worried about was the very short manual focus rotation, but that turned out to be a non-issue, as focusing was easy and there weren't too many shots where I missed focus completely. So center sharpness is okay wide open, the corners are a bit soft, there is some very heavy vignetting on a full frame camera, which if you are picky about, you can fix in post. But but by far the biggest issue with this lens in terms of optics is the chromatic aberration, which is, yes, it's there. There's a lot of green and purple fringing in high contrast areas, and that does make for some challenges if you are trying to correct this in post. It's not the easiest to fix. However, if you stop the lens down to f4 or so, things get much, much better. For video work, there is a bit of focus breathing, which is not optimal, but for casual photo and video here and there, it is certainly fine. And if you treat this lens like a 35 millimeter f2 or even an f2.8, you will get very nicely sharp images with more controlled vignetting and chromatic aberration and flare. And so you might be saying, well, cool story, Arthur. I can't buy this lens, so why in the world are you talking about it? And that is true, you can't buy the gold coated version. But you could get this same lens in a standard black or quite interesting silver finish and it will set you back a cool $450 US. And if you have an APS-C camera, you will probably view this as a ridiculous price. But if you have a full frame Leica, this is quite affordable. And if you don't believe me, this is how much a manual 35 millimeter f1.4 Sumalux costs. That's the price of a used minivan for a 35 millimeter manual f1.4 lens. And if it looks familiar, well, I think this gold TT Artisan is very closely based on the Leica lens. At least the outside design is very similar. And you can't get that Leica lens coated in gold, but ironically for the price, you would expect the whole thing to be made out of solid gold but what do I know? And that is going to be it for my review of this crazy gold plated lens from TT Artisan. It is a pretty cool one, but again, you can't buy it, but maybe they will make this in the future. You never know. If this video gets popular for whatever reason and there's demand for it, I see no reason why TT Artisan can't remake this 
and make it not so limited. I think they've made another lens that's uh, 28 or something like that, that also has a gold finish or a bronze finish. So they've done crazy things like this in the past and undoubtedly they'll probably do some crazy things in the future as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of your comments, all of your likes and your support. Stay tuned for more. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I have some very, very, very quite exciting things happening and coming up. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.